everybody, it's Christina with From Redefine Creative, and I am back with another episode in the No Pattern Paper mini series. And the original plan was to post on Sunday, and life just got in the way. So last week of school, so thank you for hanging in there. Uh, this is a series that my friend Maggie started, and a bunch of uh, kind of crafty friends have been playing along with as well. And I am loving getting kind of creative with how to make my own pattern paper. Now, is this something that I will do all the time? Probably not. And because if you guys have been around, you know me, I love pattern paper. Um, but it's also been really fun to play with my supplies in a different way. So I have a bunch of colored cardstock that I'm going to use. And I have this like mint green color that's going on black. I've distressed the edges. And we're going to play around with this picture of Ty drinking a milkshake. So this is on the pier in Santa Monica, I believe. And <clears throat> he was, we were taking a break from swimming and body surfing and all the things to have some milkshakes. And so that's what this picture is about. And so I have taken and traced around a circle so that I can get some circles behind my photo. And I'm going to use this kind of pinkish, light pinkish corally color, I guess you could say. That's what it would be called or what color it would be called. And I'm going to go ahead and distress the edges on these circles as well. And so they're just going to kind of create a column that I can build off of um, over here around my photo. So I'm going to have them going from top to bottom, but not, not quite center. They're a little off center because I struggle. I don't know about you guys. I struggle with creating layouts where everything is like centered in the page. I tend to like my creating much more if I'm in like this thirds space. Um, so then I'm going to take these metallic crayons and I am tracing around that acrylic block uh, to give myself a different size circle. And then I trace around some color shine as well. And then I'm just going to take my finger and kind of smush that crayon out. And it gives it this like hazy kind of look, which I thought was kind of fun. Um, and then I'm going to start doing some stamping. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp just inside the circles. So I'm using that polka dot paper to try and kind of mask that area off. So I got this set of stamps at the dollar store because one of you guys told me, hey, you need to go to the dollar store and you need to grab this set of stamps. Um, and they're super cute. Um, so I've used the little uh, pair of sunglasses and now I'm getting the starfish on there. And I'm just making them kind of two-tone, matchy to the background, nothing too fancy on there. Um, and then I'm going to start doing some embellishing. So I have this chipboard sheet that I am using from Crate Paper, and then I also have a sticker book over there from Simple Stories. Now, the feel of these two collections is very different, so I'm having to kind of be careful and a little strategic about which elements I'm choosing to mix and match, because um, I wanted to have the feel of a fun, like, beachy, outdoor, summer break layout. Um, but I also had some of those a little more vintagey chipboard pieces that I wanted to combine. Um, so I'm just making sure that I'm pulling out elements that will still work together. Um, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully they will all work together. Um, so for now, I am just grabbing a bunch of stickers. I've got some phrase stickers, some little circle discs, just kind of building up the layers and, and the background. So I have this little gap that you can see underneath my photo before I hit that bottom embellishment cluster. And I'm thinking that's where my title's gonna sit. So I'm kind of leaving that space a little more open than I usually would. Um, so I don't want you to think that I don't, I don't see that there's a space going on there, cause there is. Um, but sometimes with a layout, you just have to keep going, you guys. So just keep building and building, knowing that eventually it's all gonna kind of come together. So I got these words fun and chill in there. I have that little sticker down at the bottom. I'm gonna repeat the word chill. So I also have this one with this black script. And so I'm gonna pop that up over the top of the other word chill. And I like that idea of kind of repeating words on a layout sometimes. So I'm kind of playing around with that idea. Um, I came in and added a few little doodles with just a marker. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and put another title element up here on top. So I've kind of overdone it with the words a little bit. Um, but I'm okay with it, you guys, because it just, I think it's fun. Um, so it says, it's going to say swim break and have his little uh, milkshake picture in there. And now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking there's a space over on that side and what's going to happen over there. Um, but I am going to go ahead and draw just some kind of marker lines around the outside, put in those little doodles that make it look like I stitched when really I didn't because, you know, I don't always have time to pull out my sewing machine and make real stitching happen. Um, so this is where I'm thinking. Every time you see me like tapping on my photo, that just means I'm thinking. I'm going, hmm, now what? What do I do next? So I like how the embellishment clusters are coming together, but I am needing something on this side to fill in this space. Um, so I kind of grabbed a couple of random pieces. So I keep a little basket on my desk. Um, it's one of those little snap bins that is full of kind of random leftovers and pieces. And so that's what I'm grabbing to finish this off. So I went ahead and found some little chipboard pieces. I grabbed a couple tags. Now these are all from just random collections, like literally my leftovers, you guys. Um, but I keep them on my desk just for that reason, because sometimes they are just the perfect little finishing touch. Um, so I've carried that element across both sides. I'm adding a little bit of journaling, which you guys don't always see me do on screen. So that's a little bit different this time. Um, and so I'm adding in, you know, my thoughts, where we are, the date, those kinds of things, a little bit more doodling, just kind of making sure that I filled in the spaces the way I want to. So that's one of the things when you don't create with pattern paper is how do I still create that visual interest and that flow across my layout? So that's where you see me pulling in all of the things like random die cuts and stickers and foam tape and little doodles. And then we're gonna go ahead and do some splatters. So all the things that will give me that texture and dimension that a lot of time pattern paper will give, I'm just creating it in a little bit different way. And I love this as a way to kind of use up a bunch of that sticker book. So I don't have a ton of the paper that goes with it left, but I do have all those stickers. And so this is a perfect way to get some of those used. Hopefully you found some inspiration here and I'll see you soon. Bye.